Hi, I'm Nellie Knitter, and I'm about to start my sock on the first of your cable rounds. So, as you can see, or should be able to see, I have uh, my 4x4 four four ribs started um, in the round, and I'm about to start my cable round. Okay. So, to explain kind of what cabling is a little bit first, Cabling is just simply reordering your stitches. So on this needle, you can see I have uh, my first four stitches are going to be the all the stitches that are in my cable. So going instead of going one, two, three, four, um, when I finish my cable, my stitches are going to be three, four, one, two. So that's just kind of... Uh, uh, way of thinking about what's happening. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this on the first needle. So I have my one needle here in my hand and I have a second double poignant needle ready. So you can either use uh, a cable needle or you can simply use a double poignant needle. I think um, a cable needle is normally something like five dollars, and uh, you have five double pointing needles in your set, so why not use all five of them and save yourself the five dollars? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slip the stitches, uh, slip the first two stitches. Okay, um, now when it says to slip them, the patterns don't normally say how you're supposed to slip them. I always slip them purl-wise, so inserting my needle as if I were to purl. So I have that uh, my first stitch in there, and now I have my second stitch on that needle. Okay. Um, the instructions are knit four back, so I'm going to put them to the back of my work and drop them in there, drop them in behind. Then I'm going to take my other needle and I'm going to work the next two stitches. So all I'm going to do is knit, pretend that those other two stitches aren't there on that needle, and just knit these two stitches together. Okay, now that I've done that, I need to work those two stitches on my cable needle, or my double pointing needle. So, the way that I do that, is I bring the back to the front of my work, and then I just knit those two stitches. Okay, and that is my cable four back. Now if you can see that, the stitches are a lot tighter together than uh, they normally would be, and that's because of your reordering of the stitches. All right, so now I'm going to continue in the pattern, which is purl four. Should have this down pretty handy, but handily by now. Three, four, and then I'm going to knit four. One two, three, four, and then purl another four. Four. Okay. So now I've done my first needle on my cable round. I'll do it again one more time for you to help you out. So, again, I'm going to take my needle, insert it purlwise, and slip off the first two stitches. Okay, now I've done that. So I'm going to make sure that they stay on there. I'm going to put them in the middle, kind of, and put them in the back of the work. I'm going to take my other needle, I'm going to insert it, knit one, knit two. I'll slide this needle up a little bit, 
This is where it gets kind of tricky. All right, so now I've brought my cable needle back to the front. And I'm going to knit those two stitches. So now I've done that, I've done my cable. So I'm ready to continue the pattern. So I'm going to purl four. And I'm going to knit four. And purl another four. So now you've done your first two cables and you just have your long needle left to do. So I'll leave you to do that on your own and rewatch this video if you need to in order to get the refresher the first time uh, just to help you out with doing your cables.